Crack the mysteries of the Earth. Discover the energy that drives a planet. And explore the secret world below. With me, Nick on the Rock. Central Washington in the shadow of Cascade Volcanoes. The majestic Stewart Range presides over a thick forest carpet that stretches from ridge to ridge. Rushing rivers snake their way through the trees, swollen with mountain snowmen. Has Central Washington always looked like this? Or are there some geologic clues hidden in the trees that tell tales of a much different past? Tropical plant fossils locked into sandstone, like mammoth rock here, huge domes of it, tucked into the Tianway community forest, all in the shadow of Mount Stewart. And if you know where to hike, bike, or drive in the backcountry near Roslyn, there are absolutely breathtaking towers of sandstone. Look at this guy. This is exclamation point rock, hidden for many, many years in the Tianaway Community Forest. We found it, others have been finding it. Look at this beautiful shape. These isolated sandstone monoliths and spires are all through this community forest. In some cases, the sandstone monoliths are so large, it looks more like Moab, Utah in the Slick Rock country than it does in the foothills of the Cascades here in the Pacific Northwest. There was a global warm time 56 million years ago called the Paleocene-Eocene Climactic Optimum. There were palm trees at that time as far north as the Arctic. The clues are in these rocks. 56 million year old sandstones and shales. In the bedrock underneath the Wenatchee National Forest. The details in these rocks the plant fossils tell us of a very different climate. Central Washington 56 million years ago looked like central Florida today. It's hot, it's humid, it's steamy, poorly drained, swampy stuff. That was Washington before the mountains, before the Cascades, before Mount Stewart. What's our evidence that the climate was so different back then? the details in the sandstones and shales. There's just a whole mat of leaves in here. That's nice. The sunlight is hitting that spot for the first time in 56 million years. I'm not a botanist. I look at these plant fossils and I go, these look kind of familiar to the trees we have today. Was global climate and local climate very different back then? I mean, you look at these guys and go, oh, I don't know, that's about like the trees we have here, isn't it? But this is a slab of bedrock right next door, 56 million years old. It's a palm leaf. And these palm leaves are the best example we have to be convincing that global climate, and especially climate here in central Washington, was massively different back then. So as you take in the beauty of the Central Cascades and the unique rock formations that can be found among the trees, take a closer look at the sandstones and shales and see if you can unlock the geological clues to a tropical past. <laughs>